Welcome back everyone. I'm going to go ahead and break down Android 13 in a complete beginner's guide for the most part. So if you know how to use Android and everything like that, then you don't really need to watch this video. But if you're fairly new to the whole entire ecosystem, this is a quick, brief introduction and hopefully by the end of it, you should have a good understanding of how to use Android, at least Android 13. Now in this specific case, we want to start off with the lock screen. Now with Android 12, Android 13, not much has changed with the lock screen yet, but we are in the second beta for the most part. So Android 13 could be coming out officially in the next few months. So this is essentially what the lock screen will always look like. We will have the time right there if we have no notifications, but you can always see the time right there if you click up there. And this is a beautiful lock screen. I love this lock screen a lot. If you have notifications like we have here, you'll always be able to see the notifications right there for the most part. So as you can see, the application was being updated. So you'll also be able to see that. You can also swipe to the side most of the time and you can configure different side panels. So you can go ahead and get the camera here or other things like that. And that's typically what I do. In this case, we just have it turned off for the most part. Now getting to your home screen is very easy. You swipe up and then you can come straight into your home screen here. Now I do think most people probably know how to navigate the whole entire ecosystem, but for the most part, you swipe between the displays like so. You can always swipe to the left side to get into your you know, little Google feed. You can also swipe back here, and this is your home screen. To get into your applications, you swipe up from the bottom, and you'll basically be able to see a massive list of all the applications that are on your phone. This doesn't necessarily mean that every application you have will be visible here. Sometimes you can have folders and everything, but a majority of the apps you can see here, and you'll also be able to see them right there if you go ahead and search for them. You can also swipe down from the top, and you'll be able to get into your actual notification bar, as well as quick toggles up top. So here you'll basically be able to see a massive list of all the notifications you have. If people are texting you or if you have notifications like, you know, downloading apps or whatever, those will happen in the background too and they'll show up right here. But you'll also see some quick toggles up here that you can quickly toggle. So your Wi-Fi connections, Bluetooth connections, all these other things, you'll basically be able to modify them there. But you can swipe down once more and you'll basically come into this panel, which will all go which will also showcase a little bit better of all the different toggles you can go and modify. So up at the very top, we have our time. Right here, we have our time and date again right here. You have your specific emergency calls or anything like that. You have your brightness toggle, which you can go ahead and increase or decrease the you know, brightness if you want to. Right here, you have all your quick toggles. So like I mentioned before, your internet, Bluetooth, flashlight toggle, auto rotate screen, swapping to the side, we have night light. You can always click the edit button right here to add even more toggles. And if there are ever any other toggles added with Android 13 in the future, you'll basically be able to find them right here. So you can always drag and drop them and put them right up at the top. And that's another thing you can do. Clicking on the back button, we can also see at the very bottom, we have two different buttons, a settings button and a power button. If we click on the power button, you can see we can now get into our power off menu straight from here, which is so cool. So you can power off your phone. You can also restart your phone this way too. You can hop out of it by clicking out here. And also we have our little settings button. So we can click on our settings button, come straight into settings. Now for those of you who don't know with Android 13, and much like I think with Android 9, we have a gesture-based design on all of our phones. So we can always swipe up from the little tab bar down there if you can see it, it's kind of highlighted. You can swipe up to pretty much hop out of an application. You can swipe to the side and drag it to the side to get into your previous application. You can also swipe up and stop at about you know a third of the way up like that, and you can get into your multitasking panel. And here you can go and swipe through and see all the other apps that you've ever used. In this case, we'll just swipe up again and we'll come back to our home screen. Now here we can go ahead and modify our home screen whichever way we want to. There are endless amounts of ways to do it. So if we go and hold down on the display option right here, you can see we get into this little you know, widget wallpaper picker that we can go and modify. And we'll also see this home settings. So I think this is fairly a newer design that came with Android 13. So if we go and click on home settings, you will get into this other panel that'll pretty much break down exactly what way you want to go ahead and modify your specific home screen. So you can enable notification dots, add app to home screen, or turn this off if you want to. If you just want the apps being added to your specific, you know, you know, app drawer, you can do it there. And you can swipe down and get a little bit more information here too. If we scroll back home, we can hold down again and we can go and click wallpaper and style. So this is where I think Android 13 is also going to be improving a lot. Android 12 was a pretty big update in my opinion. So now with Android 13, we should be getting some newer improvements here. Now it looks like it's glitching out on me, which is totally okay. But typically there would be some areas here where you can go ahead and modify your home screen as well. So I'd recommend going down this route and also monitoring that as well. Clicking on, let me go and try this again. So we did get into it, thank God. 
And you can see right here we have wallpaper and style. So we can go ahead and change our wallpaper out. So we can click change wallpaper. And I think there are some new wallpapers within Android 13. And there were a ton with Android 12. And they look really good for sure. Swiping back out, we can go and get down to our wallpaper colors. So we can also change the colors of our wallpaper and the theme of our wallpaper as well. So you can see my wallpaper and the kind of the image kind of changed from that to a little bit of like a bluish hue to it, which is nice. You can also swipe through and I think you can add your own color somewhere too. But that's that. Also with basic colors, you can also change the basic colors that you want. So you can see things just changed from kind of like a darkish pink to now a little bit of a blue. If I click on green, you can see things will change to a green. I kind of like this blue color to be honest, so I'm going to keep it. But you can also go through and scroll around here and see all of those other different colors you can choose from as well. Now dark theme, if you want to enable a dark theme, this is different than dark mode. You can go ahead and enable a dark theme and this will make the theme dark. So let alone just the whole entire dark mode and everything, a dark theme looks really nice as well. You can also choose themed icons. Now this is something that's new with Android 13 as you can see it's still in the beta. And with themed icons enabled, you will actually be able to go ahead and change the theme of those icons as well as the other you know areas of your specific you know display. So I turn this off, you can see that the icons have went from you know, this icon to what it is was before. So if I click on themed icons, this is what it was before. If I go and enable themed icons, again, this is a beta, you can see that the icons have now changed to this blue icon. So this is actually really cool. That's another cool theming option we have within Android 13. And I'm actually really excited when this officially comes out because this is probably going to be one of the bigger features for sure. Now swiping back here, we'll go ahead and just keep that enabled. And you can have auto grid. We can change this from five by five to four x four, four by five, three by three. So many other options here too. Now hopping out of this one, let me go and hold down here again. We also have widgets. Now widgets is a, one of the most important things with Android. I always love Android phones for having all these types of widgets. And I do think possibly with Android, this version, we're probably going to be getting a lot more too. Android S Easter egg, I wonder what that is. So we can go ahead and scroll through here and we can always add a widget if we want to. So a lot of these are, it kind of looks like these are installing. But if I go and click on the settings one, right? I can go and click here. I can go and touch and hold to drag this widget to the display. And I wonder what this is going to do. So it says you can, I can set up a set widget for whatever. So I'll go and click internet. So now I have an internet widget. So if I click here, it'll probably take me straight into my internet connections. And that's really cool. If you ever want to delete or modify a specific application on the home screen, you can hold it down just like so. You can go and scroll it right. In this case, I'll remove it. But we do want to make our way back over to our settings real quick because this is one of the most important things you probably want to do if you're rocking Android 13. I would recommend scrolling through each individual setting here and understanding each single one. Now all these are pretty much self-explanatory. Battery storage, sound and vibration, display, accessibility for the most part. But one of the biggest things I would recommend doing if you have a phone that's on Android 13 is to update your phone and just keep updating your phone whenever updates come out. If you're on Android 12 or Android 11, then, you know, kind of play accordingly. Just fun, do your research on finding which one's more stable. But if you're already on Android 13, you want to find your system panel. If you're on stock Android or if you're on One UI, you want to find where you update your phone. You want to scroll down here. You want to go and click on system update, which is right there. And we want to go ahead and update our specific phone. In my opinion, this is easily one of the most important things you can do. As you can see, it says my system is up to date. I'll go and check again for any updates. It's probably not going to show. As you can see, it's still Android. It's weird it says Android version 12. However, we are pretty much on Android 13, which is very interesting. So there's still a long ways to go with the specific version of Android, but I am really happy to see what's going to be happening in the future with the specific version. But as of now, you should have a decent understanding of how to use this operating system. And like I mentioned, there are going to be tons and tons of updates happening in the future with this specific phone, with this specific software. So I just covered the basics, right? This is not anything crazy. Hopefully by the time Android 13 officially comes out, we can make even another video about this because there's going to be even more updates available. So that pretty much covers it up for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.